All right, as we throw it over to the weather wall, a um, couple of things for you. I listen to Matt Wentz every day, and I'm pretty sure he has told me time and again that September is the most rainy month. I'm going with <clears throat> three inches on average for the month of September. You're not far off. That's four. It's closer to four than it is to three. So oh, that's okay. a technicality that, you know, Betsy loves to use that phrase. But you know what? You're, you're basically there. We have, uh, you know, entered a deficit essentially. But Jay, I think you have to give me a weather word. I do. It's omnipresent. And this is, in, this is to honor the Browns defense. Okay. They were everywhere <laughs> all at once. They were omnipresent yesterday. Wow. So something that hasn't been omnipresent in the forecast for the month of September has been rainfall. I'm just going to get it out of there real quick. Look at that. Very nice. Wow. You know what? We could, we could fit this into the forecast in several ways. <laughs> I, I think, right? Was that correct? No, okay, perfect, perfect. We have less than half of an inch of wet weather accumulated at Cleveland for the month so far. We've only got about, what, five days left? Last year for the month of September, we had over three and a half inches. So there's perspective for you. On average, we have 3.93 inches. So again, Jay, closer to four than three. The least rainfall ever during the month of September was back in 1908, and that was just shy of half an inch. We are even lower than uh, that record. So if you know all of our rain chances stopped today, this would be the driest September on record. But I do have some rain chances to talk to you about. It's going to look a lot like today was tomorrow and even by Wednesday. I think as we head through the second half of your Wednesday, our rain chances start to ramp up. They're going to spike by Thursday and then we get our downfall again as we approach the weekend, which is fantastic for everyone out there. This evening, though, no huge weather concerns, maybe a spotty shower. It's not going to hinder any of your plans. Temperatures will fall their way back into the 60s. If you're not already there, the cloud cover is going nowhere. Thanks to our general setup throughout the eastern half of the country. We have this remnant low. This is actually of what was Ophelia once upon a time. So still bringing wet weather to the New England area. Boston locked in by wet weather today. We have another system back off to the northern Plain states bringing wet weather through Wisconsin right now. There is a little wet weather through the southern part of the Buckeye State at the moment, but we kind of fall between these two systems and we're still playing catch up. This system that has impacted parts of uh, the eastern seaboard for days now has been so stubborn. We have to get that to move out for the other one to kind of dig itself into the Ohio River Valley. So we're dry for now. Again, a spotty shower or two can't be ruled out. Most of that wet weather has been found over the lake and again, far away from us, closer to Kentucky, Tennessee, you name it. But going forward in your big picture forecast, those rain chances are going to come from that big area low that is closer to Minnesota and Wisconsin. It digs its way through Illinois and Indiana, bringing our rain chances on the increase as we approach the second half of your Wednesday into the day on Thursday. I think our rain chances are more scattered in nature by Thursday, which could still allow us to, you know, pick up on that deficit that we've kind of dug ourselves into through the month of September when it comes to wet weather. I think even if we get rainfall out of this, we could still have one of the five driest Septembers on record. Tomorrow, though, it's going to look like the movie Groundhog Day. We're going to wake up and do today all over again. High temperatures close to 70 degrees, maybe a peak of sunshine, maybe a spotty shower. And if you're sick of it already, well, you'll be sick of it tomorrow. Same thing on Wednesday. Again, by Thursday, we start to see more sunshine by the end of your Friday, which you know, start making your plans now. They don't look too shabby as we enter in the weekend in your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast. Mid to upper 70s for Saturday and Sunday. That is unseasonably warm for this time of the year.